Hello and welcome to day four of Splash. It's great to have you with us again. Jess, what are we thinking about today? So today it is if we are going to be thinking about God in who we can trust. Fantastic, I look forward to that. And what are we doing first? We're going to start today with our song. So we hope that you've remembered all the actions from in the week. Get up, give yourself a shake, and we're ready to sing Creator God. put the stars in outer space You pop the freckles on my face And all the fish that swim And all the birds that fly Were made from your incredible imagination Creator God We're singing to the Creator God Of all the world Creator God We celebrate you We celebrate you Spread the ripples through the sea You painted stripes on every bee And all the grass that grows And all the leaves that fall A part of your amazing plans For this creation Creator God We're singing to the Creator God Of all the world Creator God We celebrate you We celebrate you Put the heat into the sun You placed a heart in everyone And all the music played And all the dancing done Reminds us that we're made to be creative like Creator God We're singing to the Creator God Of all the world Creator God We celebrate you We're singing to the Creator God of all the world. Creator God, we celebrate you. We celebrate you, Creator God. We're singing to the Creator God of all the world. Creator God, we celebrate you. We celebrate you, Creator God. We're singing to the Creator Creator God of all the world, Creator God, we celebrate you, we celebrate you. We celebrate you. One quiet afternoon, a boat moves away from the shore of Lake Galilee. The water gently laps against the stones on the shore. The men in the boat are tired. A gentle breeze tugs at the sail. Gradually, the sun sinks and the day is nearly over. The boat slowly makes it across the very large lake to the other side. Back on the shore, Someone is praying. His name is Jesus. Jesus had worked hard all day helping and healing people. He needs to pray and he's told his disciples to sail on home across Lake Galilee. The men in the boat can no longer see him, but he knows where they are. Jesus rises from prayer and walks down to the shore. In the boat, the disciples are wondering how will Jesus get across the large lake? He doesn't have a boat. The boat bobs and dips as it moves across the lake. A wind has sprung up. They pull in the sail. The boat begins to sway from side to side, tossed by the waves. Suddenly the men see a strange sight. A figure appears in the distance. It's someone walking on the water. Who can it be? It, it must be a ghost. 
it's not a ghost. It's Jesus walking on the water. Peter recognises who it is. It's Jesus. He's walking towards us. The others are puzzled. How can this be? No one can walk on water. But they can all see Jesus walking on the deep waters. Don't be afraid, Jesus shouts. It's me. But they are afraid. They know it's impossible to walk on water. Just then, Peter has a bright idea. Lord, shouts Peter, if it really is you, invite me to walk on the water to you. What would Jesus say? Jesus replies, come on then. Very cautiously, Peter lifts his leg over the side of the boat. His toes touch the water. It's cold and wet, just like real water. He places his foot on the sea. He's now standing on the water. Peter holds onto the side of the boat, expecting to sink, but the water holds him up. He lets go of the boat. The wind blows stronger and a storm is breaking, but Peter is standing on the sea. Look at me, thought an excited Peter. Hey, just one foot, I'm doing the impossible, walking on water. He steps towards Jesus. The boat is now out of reach. He keeps walking, but the wind is loud and the waves are crashing. Peter suddenly looks down at the waves. He looks away from Jesus and sees how far he is away from the boat. He, he panics, becomes scared and begins to sink. Help, help, Peter shouts, save me, Lord. Jesus reaches out his hand and pulls Peter up to his feet again. Peter, you have such little faith, Jesus tells him. Why did you doubt? They both stand together on the water. Then Jesus and Peter walk back to the boat together. The men on the boat watch in amazement. We have seen a great miracle, they shout. Jesus must be the Son of God. They worship Jesus. No one could walk on water unless God's power was at work. But Jesus does not reply. He doesn't need to. He knows who he is. Jesus is amazing. He does amazing things. And in today's story, he does something incredible. It's the kind of thing that we might expect a superhero to do. Jesus walks across the water. And the disciples, when they see him, they're scared. It's quite unusual to see someone coming towards you walking on the water. What's even more amazing than this is that Jesus invites Peter to come and walk on the water too. He asks him to step out of the boat. Now, if it was me, I'm not sure I'd want to step out of a boat and onto the water. I'd find it quite hard to believe that I wouldn't just sink. But Peter knows Jesus really well and he trusts him. And so he steps out of the boat. And amazingly, he can walk on the water and he begins to walk towards Jesus. But then he takes a look around. He realises where he is and the waves and the wind seem quite fierce and he begins to be scared and his trust seems to go away and he begins to sink. He calls out and Jesus gets him up again and back into the boat. Sometimes in life we can be a bit like that. We can trust God but then the wind and the waves get a bit loud. The difficult things in life can get on top of us and we feel a bit overwhelmed and we stop trusting. And it can feel a bit like we're sinking. But the amazing news is that we can always trust Jesus. Even when we feel like we're sinking, we can call out and know that he will come and help us back to our feet. Jesus is someone we can trust. We can trust that he will help us to do amazing things. And we can trust that when things are hard, he'll always be there 
to help us back up. Jesus is someone we can trust. So for our game today, we are going to play Guess the Splash. At home, you have got to decide which of these cups has got some water in. Is it A, B or C? And then Joseph is going to sit there and we're going to pour them and we're going to see if you were right. So have a think, have a vote at home. Is it going to be A, B or C? Decide now. Here we go. I'm going to start with A. Oh, he survived. If you said A, you weren't quite right this time. Let's try B. Oh, nothing in B. I wonder then what's going to be in C. Oh, if you said C, you were right. Joseph, enjoy that splash. Okay, round two. If you guessed C last time, you were correct. Well done. Let's see which one of these might have water in this time. Have a vote at home. Is it going to be A, B or C? Let's have a look. We're going to start with C. If you said C this time. No, you are wrong this time, I'm afraid. Let's go to B. There we go. Is there water? There is! If you said B, you are the winner. Well done. So for our craft today, you will need your Thursday's envelope. In there, you should find a whole range of pom-poms, a lollipop stick, a picture of Jesus, half a paper plate, and your very own glue stick. You might need to find yourself some scissors, and if you do, make sure you've asked whoever you have got them from. Today's task, we're going to make Jesus walking on the water. So the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to stick your pictures of picture of Jesus onto the end of your lollipop stick. If you want to colour him in first, you can do that. When you've got your picture of Jesus on the lollipop stick, you then need to create the sea. Can you remember, we heard in our story about the sea and the waves. So use those pom-poms. You might want to stick them in a row. You might want to make some waves. It's entirely up to you. You might have some big ones, some little ones. You're going to make the C. Now, you might decide that you want your C like this. And you're going to just then be able to walk your Jesus along the water underneath. Or you might decide that you want to cut a little slit in the C so that the lollipop stick will pop through. I'm going to leave that up to you. See if you can make your own scene and make your own Jesus who walks on water.